Hey, it's Griffin Avid on the Griffin Avid Corner. Um, we're looking at Chainer, which is a VST host that can also operate as a VST instrument. Chainer can be controlled by MIDI information, so it can be automated and you can record your tweaks either from your mouse or from a MIDI controller. For the sample heads, you can create multi-samples from VSTs for usage in your hardware sampler, but we'll get to that a little later. You can also use your regular PC keyboard as a virtual MIDI keyboard and enter notes that way. Alright, let's take a look. The interface is divided into two sections. The top area is the row of slots where your virtual instruments are loaded. The down arrow here opens the menu to load plugins and effects. Next over is the power button which activates or deactivates the slots. There's also control for wet dry, panning and transpose. The editor 1 and editor 2, these buttons bring up editing windows of the plugin or VST. So it's their own window you're working with. Window 1 is just for general edits and for 2 is the parameters list. The last window displays the currently selected preset and a right click displays the entire content of the bank, which is a very good feature to have. The bottom is the channels where you control signal routing. S is for solo, B for bypass effects, and the arrow opens a menu to save your channel settings in case you want to pull them back up on a future project. To create multi-samples, you'd go to the export menu under file and set the parameters there. For random patch generating or morphing between two different presets, it'd be the second editor window and it'd be the presets menu and then you pick the preset lab. Then you can do all sorts of random sonic twisting and go crazy. Alright, I'm gonna create a thicker pad by creating my own combi patch. I'm gonna combine several VSTs as an entire singular instrument and then play them all layered and it'll be pretty quick. So what I'm gonna do is get something heavy on the bottom. So I'm gonna go with that free um, FX Expansion Orca VST. I'm gonna stick with the first patch, which is Marauding. We'll just stick to that one. And then I'm gonna get something with some movement on top. So we're gonna pull up the Korg Legacy Wave Station. ROM 8, Leaving the Pond. And then we need something in the middle, so I'm gonna go to my plug sound for a basic middle tone, which is gonna be the GM Light Synth Pad 218 Space Voice. So with these three pads, I just adjust the volume to get them to match a little bit better and kind of blend together. But already I've got a unique sound without doing too much work. And this can all be saved as a single patch and pulled up on a future project. And since Chainer can also load itself, the only limit is how much your computer can handle. All right, this is an experiment I was trying to do in my full-fledged sequencer, but I couldn't find a usable balance between latency, audio quality, and basic control. I did eventually get it working after I figured it out in Chainer, but it was a real pain to set up and it got out of control real quick. The PC I'm using is a Intel 2.4, two gigs of RAM, and a Mo2 audio interface. What we'll do is uh, we'll push the limit, We'll put snares on channel 2, which is my favorite, Stylus RMX. I'm using a custom sample set. We'll get kicks from Microtonic Utonic, which is a nice little synthetic drum machine. And then we'll go with the brand new Groove Agent 3 for all the other percussion. And of course, this is overkill for most production tasks, but it's about doing something different and showing off what you could do in Chainer. All right, and of course, you can still layer multiple instruments in each VST. You can randomize all the different settings. Um, there's an incredibly tight uh, FX routing app that Chainer has. It's a very easy system to use. You can send plugins to different channels. Of course, you can go real crazy and start combining layers in each VST. You can randomize all the different parameter settings. And Chainer itself has a very tight routing system, so you can route your plugins, run one VST into another. It's, it's very comprehensive, it's very easy to set up and manage. So, for the official definition, Chainer is a multi-effect and multi-instrument rack for musicians and sound designers. It's a VST host that runs as a standalone application, VST effect, and VST instrument. 
Chainer retails for $59 US. It's in a very affordable addition to most studios and it does solve some of the smaller problems that get in the way of your production flow. This is Griffin Abbott's Corner for Producer's Edge Magazine, Fall 2007. Peace.